Hey everybody, today we're working on a 2004 F-150 and it's got a code in the computer for the fuel pump control module. The fuel pump control module is underneath the spare tire and you can see the spare tire is pretty crusty and rusty and uh, here's the fuel pump control module and what happens to these is you can see it's split wide open right there because this is a aluminum and they steel frame and they react together and then the reaction grows and splits it open so we have a new one to put in here we got a new ford one it has standoff bolts to keep it away from the frame we're going to take this off we're going to clean the frame up we're going to paint it we're going to put the new standoff bolts in and hopefully this will take care of this code this truck is pretty rusty and crusty it's not as bad as some usually on these trucks the front frame rails underneath the seats rot out but actually on this one this one's got a rot hole there and it's got another rot hole right there it's a boxed frame i told the guy he should get it taken care of um if he wants to keep it so let's uh get this thing off and we'll clean it up i'll show you what it looks like when i'm done all right we got an eight millimeter we're going to go ahead and uh, bust this thing off the frame. Look at all that corrosion falling out. That wire's getting caught on the camera. What wire? This, I don't even know what this is. It's for the trailer brakes or something. Trailer brakes, yeah. Let's get it up out of the way. and you can see that is all that corrosion that has pushed up on this fuel pump control module and actually has split it open right there so water's been getting in it probably right there so now what we're going to do is we're going to get in here and we're going to clean this frame up actually it really doesn't look that bad but we're going to get up here with a piece of sandpaper we're going to clean it we've got some black uh some rust oleum spray paint and we'll paint this up because I don't have the quote unquote Ford protector. So we'll get in here and clean this up and uh, get the new one on. Look at that thing. Look how bent it is. So, all right, we'll be right back. All righty. Well, I've been up here standing the, the frame to break some of this rust down before we put some paint up here. And then I noticed there is a ground strap right there that looks pretty bad. Um, right there. Let me see if I can get some light on it. Uh, right there. And that ground wire comes here. It's a black with a yellow. And it runs right in this harness, right into here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this and maybe cut it off and put a new connector on it and move it to a different location because it is just look it's just terrible and i want to have a good ground here all right so i couldn't get that ground bolt out of there it's it's i tried using one of the twisty sockets it didn't work i tried to use a pair of channel locks it didn't work so i just went ahead and broke the wire so i'm going to get ready now here's that wire I have a piece of heat shrink tubing. I'm going to use a non-insulated eyelet ter terminal, and then I'm gonna solder it. And then I have a new self-starting bolt that I'll probably just put r right over here next to it. So I know I got a good ground. So uh, we're still sanding on this. And oops, there goes my heat shrink tube. We'll put that back on and we'll get this all soldered. All right, here is the new, uh, fuel pump control module we always get the motorcraft ones or the ford motor company ones because that 30 dollars ones don't last and this also comes with the new bolt kits to hold it away from the frame so these are going to get screwed into there i've cleaned this off i've gone ahead and i've crimped and soldered this connection now i'm just going to blow a new hole right there 
for that one. So we're going to, I'm gonna probably gonna go ahead and put this in first and then I'll paint it and then I'll put everything in and assemble it. So let me get this put in, it painted and um, we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Wow, and this is taking me a lot longer than I thought. So I had to drill a hole in here. So I had to go get my chuck that fits onto an air ratchet, a 90 degree, to make a drill, a 90 degree drill, to get in here to drill that hole. Um, and look at all the tools I have out, you know, wires, wire strippers, you know, everything else. So anyway, so now we're gonna use this to uh, connect the ground strap. To the frame right there and then we'll get in here and we'll paint the whole thing so that is protected with paint and the whole thing protected with paint then we'll put the standoff bolts in and then put the fuel pump control module back in Alrighty, i have painted this whole cross member i got some runs but i put it on real thick um, so i painted it i put the standoff bolts in and i have relocated the ground over here because the upper ground was all rusty. So I had to drill a hole, put the self-tapping screw in. It's nice and tight. I've painted it so it won't rust. So there you go. Um, this should take care of the problem code with the fuel pump module stuck at 40%. So we'll go ahead and clear the codes, put this all back together, Let's put the spare tire back together. He really needs to think about getting a, uh, a spare rim. But there we go, everybody. That's how you put a fuel pump control module in these Fords. The vans have them. The trucks have them. They're all mounted underneath like this. And that's what happened. Look how thick this corrosion is that caused the old one to break open right there. Probably moisture is getting in it. So, um, all right, everybody. I think I'll leave it at this. That's how you put a fuel pump control module in a Ford always get the Ford part because then you get the standoff bolts and if you think you need to redo that ground I would definitely redo that ground I did not want to come back in here and have to do it a second time all right everybody thanks a lot for watching please subscribe you can always do that in that corner please give me a thumbs up if you like my automotive videos